going on guys here is game here and i'm here to showcase a special pre of the outbound ghost the outbound ghost is a adventure rpg about helping ghosts ascend the afterlife and as you can see on screen it also has the unique style of the paper mario series and has um it's an aspect of Mario game so today I wanted to showcase more footage of Outbound Ghosts since I was able to get a special key demo thanks to Born Radical Games and I'll showcase bits of gameplay and what you'll be able to do in the demo which is now live on Steam. So with that said, let's get into it. When you start the game you'll notice that you'll have up to easy to spectral and you also have special settings such as the permadeath for those who like death situations or have played Pokemon Nuzlocke challenges. Okay, so you'll start here in the Glades of Dawn, where you'll see you're already controlling the main character, which has no name, the ghost, who um, also has lost his memory. And, and look at him, either. his design looks so now once you start your first battle, you'll be introduced to your Fingman. So you, the Fingman will be your ally during the battles. So this Fingman right here is called Regret. And right now he's about to perform his first attack. So here's how the attack system works. So you just have to time it into green zone to just get the perfect hit. Uh, it's sim similar to how with Mario. So when Mario wants to jump and perfectly time the enemy, you have to time it just to right the buttons on screen as well as right as he hits you'll also notice when the enemy gets hit there's like a stun bar so I, i'd say it's similar to in the street fighter series where the more damage you deal in a row the more they'll be stunned later on so once he's completely stunned you're free to attack him Now right here, he's about to explain the ether system. So the ether system, you'll see on the screen that the user gets an AP with ether points and they allow you to attack. So you can see that with the, the figment up top that he has up to two, they can attack two times, but they only have one per turn. But when you do ether up, you actually get to build up ether for the next turn and go defend yourself for the next hit so you as you can see this figment was able to and now we can attack twice this was also a, a great thing to interact with which was uh, a mini um unlock system so you would just get lock picks and you would be able to unlock the door so you need at least one or two lock picks i remember and needing at least two to open certain gates throughout the game I don't want to show off the cutscene sets, but um, but once you meet the few characters, you'll also be introduced into the aspects and the crafting table. So the crafting table here or forging will allow you to make special aspects, which are the I guess the the badges. They're they're pretty much the badges of this game, where you can um, give characters certain skills, you can give um, buffs, you can give um, nerves, you can give them all sorts of things. Now here is when you'll get introduced to the characters. So you'll find Michael, who's a young bright detective, and when his sister Mir Mary, and their adorable dog, Cory. Look at him! Look at the guy right there. The best ghost I've ever seen. Now here, here's me later on. So as you can see, I have two figments now, and this one's oh, this guy sketchy was insane with his damage so watch out for him you better be on your guard when you if you aren't you're gonna they're gonna be dead again i know they're already dead but still watch look at them this nearly took out my guy we did this so with the skills let me also rewind this so my first try so i'm just gonna to get there so it essentially just bounced up back and forth. I liked how that worked because yeah, at the time it's um so well. So look, I will. I had to get it right, so I let it bounce once, and then once it went around, I hit. I immediately hit it. I don't know how I landed it right, but sadly I wasn't able to save my uh my little guy. Oh yeah, so interesting thing. So 
when your figment um it gets defeated in battle they'll actually turn into a tombstone oh oof they're just down for the count you are able to revive them though but sadly i didn't equip the re um the revive skill <laughs> even though i did craft it so i could have saved my uh my camaraderie um if, if i had the chance rip there is definitely a lot more that you'll be able to do in the demo but i don't want to showcase everything because i want to have everyone get a chance to play it on their own so if you go to steam you'll be able to play the demo right now so download the game give it a, give it a try and we'll wish list it for when the full game comes out and i hope you enjoyed this game and hope you enjoyed my um my hands-on experience for this game it's really great to try this game out and i would like to thank corn radical for letting me try this game early for the actual demos release. so if you guys like this be sure to and like for more Super Mario related content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.